Hi guys, welcome back to Style by Toria channel. So today's tutorial is going to be super easy, quick and simple. I have with me this leftover fabric. If you want to make yours, one and a half yards of fabric should be enough for you. Okay? So this blouse is going to be a free blouse. It's also a call together sleeve blouse. Okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold my fabric into four, which I've already done. You can see it's on fold. The top part is on fold. And my center back and my center front is on fold as well. Next, I'm going to mark out my shoulder measurements. My shoulder measurement is 15 inches divided by 2 will give me 7.5. But I won't be working with that 7.5. I will increase to 17 inches. So here is my 17 inches mark. Next, from that 17 inches, I will measure 10 inches for my sleeve opening. Remember, it's cut together sleeve, uh, sleeve blouse. So I'm going to measure 10 inches for my sleeve opening. I will add one inch to it, making it 11 inches. That one inch is for seam allowance. So this is my 11 inches, okay? Next, I'm going to measure my shoulder to waist. My shoulder to waist measurement is 17 and a half. So for my round waist, I'll be working with my hip measurement, not my waist measurement, okay? So my hip is... 44 inches divided by 4 will give me 11 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance will give me 12 inches. Okay, so here is my 12 inches. I'm going to mark the same 12 inches to the down part of the blouse. Please mind, the length of my blouse is uh, 26 and a half inches. Okay, next I'm going to connect that's 11 inches point for my sleeve to the waist and down to, uh, to the down part of the blouse but before i do that from that my 11 inches eh, i'm going to come in by two inches okay it's from that two inches i'm going to connect to my waist and to the down part of the blouse okay so I'm going to cut now. When I cut out, I will now cut my uh, neck, okay? Okay, this is it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to mark out our neck. My neck for the neck, which I'll be working with uh, four inches by one inch. Remember, I'm cutting both the front and the back neck. So I'll cut four inches by one inch, okay? When you look at the picture on the thumbnail, you will notice that one, uh, one sleeve is dropping down from the, sh uh, one of the shoulder is like a drop down shoulder. Okay, so what I will do for that is to increase to Remember that my actual shoulder is 17 and a half. So this is my 17 and a half. Instead of marking that 17 and a half, I'll mark extra one. I'll add one extra one inch to that, making it 18 and a half. So this is the 18 and a half. So I'm going to connect this 18 and a half to so this is my one inch uh, neck depth. Okay. So from here, I'm going to connect this way. 
So I'm going to cut out this neck separately. Okay, I'll first cut out my back neck, then I'll cut this uh, front neck. For this front neck, then the front neck is going to be three inches depth. Okay, or can increase to four inches, but I don't want the neck to be that wide, so I will do three and a half for the depth. Okay, then I will connect to this first to this uh, four and a half, four inches rather than to this. I hope you're not confused. Okay, let me go by it again. For my neck, for the neck for my back is a four inches width and one inch depth. Okay, so I mark four inches here and one inch depth. This is it. So I connect this way. But when you look at the picture on my thumbnail, you see that one of the shoulder is uh, like a drop down shoulder. So what we are going to do for that is to increase our shoulder to eight and a half. My actual shoulder measurement is 7.5. That's 15 inches divided by two is 7.5. And this is 7.5. But I want the shoulder to be off from the shoulder. So I will increase to one inch. I will increase by one inch, making it eight and a half. Okay. So that eight and a half, I'm going to connect to my front depth my front depth is three and a half so i'm going to connect to my front depth okay and also connect to my back depth okay this is my back depth so by the time i cut off i will open up and cut the front one okay so the first thing i'm going to do is to cut the front the back sorry so this is the back for one of the shoulder and this is the back the neck for the other shoulder that is not a drop down, okay? So I'm going to cut this way. Watch what I'm doing. Hope you are seeing it. Okay. Next, I'm going to cut. See, I'm raising one of the uh, fabric up. I'm going to cut this way. Okay, I'm done cutting the back. So let me open up. See? See? See the where see see this side is dropping down. It's off the shoulder. So I'm going to cut the front now. So I'll still fold again. This way. Then raise my front up this way. So I won't have to cut the back. Okay. So I'll put my scissors this way and I'll cut. Remember that our front is three and a half inch depth. So I'll connect to this this way. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. We are done. So see our front, this is our front, and this is our back. You can go ahead and alter your neck if you don't like it being that high. I mean, I don't want it to be that low, so I'm okay with this. So, but if you don't want yours to be this high, you can, you can go ahead and, you know, alter the neck. So I'll go to my machine now. I'll fold my sleeve, fold my neck, hem the down parts, and here as well okay then join the sides i'll come back and show you the finished look okay i'm done sewing as you can see i fold the neck with the bias tape you see hem my sleeve on the down part so i'll go now and put it on so i can see the fitting This is me rocking my blouse. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Share this video and don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.